right, welcome back, everybody, to whatever round this is. <laughs> I don't even know at this point. Uh, we'll go first. We're playing against a Malamar deck that has a couple of unique things, I guess. So, not the best start here either. Um... They're playing it with uh, Garatina Garchomp and two Fighting Energy. So that is very interesting, if I do say so myself. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and Poke Gear. Thin our deck a little bit. Don't get anything. Okay. And we'll just Intrepid Sword. Okie dokie. So we might be forced to Roxy away Sandshrew. Just to get more cards. But I don't necessarily want to do that. <laughs> so this will be this will be an interesting game. They also play a Latios GX, which gets rid of um, gets rid of GX attacks. But I'm not really sure how that works with Misty and Lorelei. Probably should have figured that out to begin with, but whatever. So we just have to be careful about spreading damage, who we spread it to, etc. 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 They're going to Quick Ball here. Probably get a Mally. They're going to get another Giratina. Okay, interesting. Uh, there is a Mysterious Treasure. I'm not sure why they feel like they need to get two Garatina in the discard pile. Uh, usually usually one's fine. Uh, they have the Inkay on the bench. There is a Cynthia coming out. And this is, uh, this is round number eight. We are sitting at four and three right now. And these are the type of games where we gotta gotta really concentrate to what we what we need to do, what we need to accomplish as far as spreading the damage around and all that stuff. So they stellar wished for a mysterious treasure. I'm guessing they'll get another Inke. There's a Mew. Okay. Not sure if I would have got that right away if I were them, but. Uh, there is the spell tag, and there's a distortion door. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of okay with them doing what they're doing right now. Um, they're just gonna go for the knockout, maybe on my benched Pokemon, which is kind of okay. Uh, so. We do have the sand slash and hand. I think the better play is to start drawing more cards. So we're going to Roxy that away. There is the Jirachi. Let's go ahead and balloon this. Go ahead and retreat. Then we will Pal pad? No, not yet. Stellar for for what? Do we get the quick ball or the Roxy? I think we grab the quick ball here. I think that's the best thing to do. Quick ball into the Misty Lorelei. Get rid of that and. Let's grab the sandwich and we will attach here. Pal pad back the two supporters in our discard pile. Uh, we can do up to two, but we'll do both. And let's 
grab wheezing with our incense. That way, if we get a Roxy next turn, we can do that stuff. And then we'll Intrepid Sword. Okay, not terrible. Cool. Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to next turn, hopefully get a Roxy. That'd be great. Hopefully they put down a, another bench Pokemon. If they put down another bench Pokemon, that'd be amazing. A non-Mew bench Pokemon. There is a Cynthia, non-Latios, non-Mewtwo GX. If they put down an Inkay, then uh, that'd, be, that'd be the best thing for us that they could put down. So we can get rid of the Dene. Because if they put down the uh, the Inke, then we essentially just have them kind of locked, kind of put in a put in a lock. All right, so there's uh, one energy onto the benched uh, Garatina. Do they have any in the discard pile? They have one. Okay, here is three onto Jirachi. Interesting. Uh, okay, uh, let's go ahead and bench the ditto. Uh, let's go ahead and thin our deck out a little bit. Grab a water energy. You have to be careful not to discard all of them. Because <laughs> we have no way of getting them back. And then we'll go ahead and go for the Stellar Wish. Get ourselves a Roxy. Perfect. There's two there in the top five. All right, now we Roxy away both of the Weezings. Doing 20 damage to everything. Awesome. And another 20. All right. Uh, then I will attach for turn and what else? Just Intrepid Sword, I think. Let's just use the Intrepid Sword now. All right. Cool, cool. If he kills us, he kills us. It's fine. All right. Uh, so then next turn we can go ahead and start damaging some things. If we can get our, if we can get our Mew out, that would be fantastic. Because then we could put down damage onto their Mew and go from there. Okay, here comes a switch to Jirachi. They're going to research. How many Weezins do we have in here? Two? Two Weezins in here. Perfect. What we could do is we can go for a double Roxy play, but it's kind of risky. Because you can Lieutenant Surge, Roxy, two Weezins, then hope to get another Roxy with, you know, we have the Lure Ball, another two Weezins if we can. And that would kill the Mew. So here comes the quick ball. There's the Latios. That's what I was kind of afraid of. Here's the Latios. There's an energy attachment. Stellar Wish coming down. Quick ball. So I don't know. I don't know the interactions for uh, for how this works. So. As far as uh, using Misty and Lorelei, for the rest of the game, your opponent can't use any GX attacks. Okay. Well, I guess we have our answer. <laughs> so, let's see what they do. They go ahead and spell tag. There is the clear vision. Uh, we did get that Roxy. All right. So now we're gonna have to play this differently. 
go ahead and get the sand slash out there. We will attach for turn. And so this is when you play this card, uh, your water Pokemon can use their GX attacks even if you have used your GX attacks. So, and what does this say? For the rest of the game, your opponent can't use any GX attacks. So, I don't know how that works. Okay, well, I forgot I was recording there for a second. Um, sorry for the delay there. Uh, we did ask a judge if what the ruling would be, and they said that I would not be able to use Misty and Lorelei. Well, Mist I could use the card, but um, th their ruling is that I can't use the GX attack. So I might try it at some point, see how it interacts, but. We'll see. So I decided not to try to attack this thing right now because um, what I could do is just have them knock themselves out and that gets around the spell tag. 
they would go down to three prizes, but I don't think that's that big of a deal. And we can start getting some Mew damage on the board, essentially. So that's kind of my goal right now, is to have him attack into me, so I knock him out. And then from there, we get some Mew damage on the board. Um, I have... I've used one lore ball, which unfortunately got all tails. Uh, so we still need to do some more damage to this Mew. They're gonna go ahead and use that attack here, to, which essentially knocks them out. And it actually gets around that, does 40 to themselves. So uh, they're gonna go ahead and knock themselves out. And I'm going to take one prize here, which is a giant bomb, which we don't necessarily need. Uh, I don't know who promotes first. I guess we do. So I will go into Jirachi. And we want to be careful that we don't draw too much, too many cards. We can't really use the Roxy to its full effect yet. So he's going to go into the Latios here. Um, which means I would I would like to get a double knockout if possible. So let's go ahead and grab the lure ball and then let's think about this. We can take one knockout on the Mew. I kind of want to kill all these things with, uh, so we need five, we need five prizes here. So we need to double Roxy to do 20 to everything. And we need to use Mew to not to hit the Malamar, I think is how we do this. So let us go ahead and attach to our Mew. Then let's go ahead and use the Lure Ball. And we are gonna get three tails again, which really sucks. Um, I want to see how many Weezings are in my deck. None, okay. So, let us... So we have some prized. We have one prized. So what I want to do now is Lana's fishing rod, the wheezing. Come on, wheezing. The wheezing, and what else? What, what item? I guess there's only one choice: the giant bomb. All right. Um, and then let's go ahead and uh, how do I do this? How many Roxies have I used? Just the two. Okay. So I will go ahead and go into Mew and I'm going to Psy Power. This is just an unfortunate situation that we're in. If we would have got some heads there, then that would have been a lot easier to deal with. But we did not. So what can you do there? Um, there is psychic energy onto that thing. And the psychic recharge is coming out. See where they put the 40, that's gonna come in huge into play. 
where they put the 40 damage here. All right, so there is the Shadow Impact putting 40 on themselves. All right, so we will go into our Jirachi and there is the Quick Ball. Let's go ahead and Quick Ball away a Misty and Lorelei for probably nothing because we don't want to we don't want to thin our deck out too much uh, we don't have any water energy we can use we only have the one in our hand and that's it so I will go ahead and get the Jirachi here um, let's Go ahead and get two Pokemon. And we do pick up the this guy. And uh, I will attach for turn and then uh, retreat and pass. Okay. And we just kind of have to hope that he attacks into us at this point. Let's see what happens. He does have to attack. Um, so yeah. <laughs> All right. Because if we do, if we do twenty more damage to the Mew. We need to get heads on a lure ball. So they're going to, he's gonna go ahead and go into the Mew. Um, I don't think we have any more Sand Slash in our deck, do we? We do not. All right, that is unfortunate. There is a Psy Power onto the Jirachi. I will evolve here and then what? Um, I need 10 more damage on this thing. That's unfortunate. So we just we just don't have we don't have enough stuff, unfortunately. So I will go ahead and pass. All right. And uh, we'll see if this works. So the judge ruling said it's it doesn't work, but. We will give this a try. We have to essentially, we have to draw into our, uh, our Pokemon. So, or we can just get, get it from the lore ball. All right. So let's give this, let's give this a try. Go ahead and lure ball. We did get some heads there. I will grab the two Weezings, and then uh, we will go ahead and Lieutenant Surge, we will go ahead and Roxy the two Weezings, which will get one knockout on the Mew. Actually, it will kill the Jirachi too, won't it? So we need to get a water energy. We need to get a water energy. There's a water. <laughs> um, oh, it doesn't it doesn't kill. It's not going to kill the Jirachi. So the Jirachi comes up, and we will see if we can use our GX attack again. If we can't, 
then it doesn't matter. Alright. And we can't. Alright. Hey, Dad!